When trying to fetch all the content of the directory, globs are not really working well. For that, the best way is to use the directory handles. So how, we do, how do we use that? Here is a small example. You get the name of the directory from the command line, and then you're using opendir. Opendir gets two parameters, a directory handle that we are just creating, it's a scalar variable that we declare within the function, and then the path to the directory. And the whole thing is working quite similar to how open for files work, so it will return false if it fails, and so many cases you just add or die to handle the errors. So this will open the directory, and then you can use the directory handle to read lines using the read dir function. So you call read dir on the directory handle, assigned to a scalar variable, one entry. And uh, every call to this read dir will fetch one more entry from the directory. So the names of the files within the directory or name of, of the subdirectories, it don't it doesn't go uh, deeply, it doesn't recur in the subdirectories, it just gives you what is immediately in that directory. And um, this will return some value. So the while loop will go on as long as there is something in the directory. And then at the end, it will, the read there will return undef, uh, signing that uh, it read everything from the directory, and then the loop will end. Within those directories, that uh, the entries that we are fetching, and I'm calling that entry because those can be files or directories or symbolic links on Linux or maybe other things. So, among among those, there is the dot, which is a, a way to con to to access your own directory, and the two dots, which are always for the upper directory, the parent directory. And in many cases, when you're parsing such directories, you want to disregard these. So uh, uh, in a lot of code, you just uh, write uh, entry, if entry equals to either of them, then you skip the processing. Otherwise, here I'm just printing it out. At the end, you close the directory handler with using the close dir function. So this is how you do it uh, one by one, calling the read dir function in scalar context, but you can also call it in list context here, in opening the directory again with open dir, and then the read dir is now in list context assigning to an array that will read all the entries from the directory into this array, including the dot and including the two dot, and you can then go over this uh, look using a for each loop. Just one little thing that some people assume uh, that these two are the first two entries in the directory, that's not uh, always the case. So you can't just say that skip the first two elements, you have to check whether those are the specific ones you want to skip really.